In a brightly lit classroom at USC, every seat is taken as the professors come in. Hi, guys. Thanks for your patience. Eyes widen as the eager faces digest what will be expected of them. That's what we're here for, is impacting people's lives for real, not writing papers. This is about people who desperately need help on the other side of the world, and we're not playing around. Like, we just played some Fortnite, and now we're here, and now you want us to solve the refugee crisis. Like, what? Every person want to know about Muriel, they have to come and experience just one day. If you have open mind, open hearts, open souls, and you want to serve the humanity, welcome. If you want to do business, let's stay in this meeting. Let's say, nice to meet you, goodbye. We're building Dua to create a philanthropic service that revolutionizes the way that philanthropy is currently done. We're specifically designing a jacket for the refugee experience. Having a personal shower might just improve somebody's mental state, even for a short time or a short period. My team was really the only team who ended up pursuing this water issue. And I think that's probably just because I was pushing the it on them so much. Safar is an our star for refugees. When they get off the boat, they need something they can trust and something that can show them the light. Please let, let me finish. I'm gonna let me finish. You because we so are it's important that I can no. grade you on your accuracy. I'm not taking a grade at all. We're grading them, then they care about their grade, and yet we're telling them, don't focus on that. Complete uh, shift of mentality. We don't need this. Shower. The mm -hmm. bigger problem with hot water, not with the shower. I'm looking through the eyes of the students. I can see their naivety in a way. I grew up in the biggest bubble you could imagine. This will uh, not only educate them, it will mature them, because they need to be exposed. The one big thing. I mean, the biggest takeaway for me is like, these are just normal people. They had great families where they threw birthday parties for their kids. They went to the movies, and now they're in the most hopeless place in the world. Moria right now is a jail. It's hell. They're all saying, we want to go home. We have not any future. I am alone. A knife here. Yeah. No, but, but you know it's me. They're staying here. They don't know what to do. Open up the border to let them leave. Everything is left behind. I lost everything. I'm a human.